Hello everyone, this is Ashmita and today we will be discussing about Indian federalism. According to traditional classification, constitutions can be either unitary or federal. Unitary constitution means constitutions which gives power to only the central government and the main power is vested with the center, whereas for federal constitutions, powers are equally divided between the center and the state. Examples of unitary constitutions include the constitutions of China or Japan. The examples of federal constitution includes constitutions of USA or for that matter India. So federalism is basically a concept that means the power should be divided between the center and the states equally or in some balance or ratio. So features of federalism include dual government that means that there has to be a government in the center as well as a government in the state. This dual government is present in India where we have the parliament of India and then the state legislatures of each state. The next is division of power between both the governments. There is a division of power between both the governments and schedule 7 provides the list under which the center or the state can make laws and powers and functions of both the union and the state are very well defined in these lists. The next is supremacy of the constitution. In India, neither the union nor the state is supreme and the union or the state cannot make any law that is against the constitution of the country. So to sum it up, the constitution is supreme and no one can make laws against the constitutional provisions. The next is authority of courts. One of the key and striking features of federalism is that in a federal constitution or in a federal government, the courts have an authority and are independent. This helps in maintaining the federalism. In India, the judiciary is a different branch and is very much separated from the legislature and executive. However, the constitution of India is not entirely federal. The constitution has in it some unitary features as well as some federal features. Unlike the federalism in US that was formed by uh, agreement between all the states to come together, the Indian federalism was formed as a principle more than anything else. So in the federal structure of India, there are both unitary as well as federal features. The unitary features include single citizenship, also list 3 provided in schedule 7 where the laws of center and override the laws of state. Article 1 of the Indian constitution start with India that is Bharat shall be a union of states. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar who was the chairman of the drafting committee stated that although India has a federal constitution the word union in the first article, this word is mentioned to clarify that the Indian Federation is not a result of any agreement by any union and the units do not have any freedom of ceding from it. The constitution of India is very well defined by K.C. Weir as a quasi-federal constitution or constitution which has both unitary as well as federal features. So the question is, is federalism a part of the basic structure of the constitution or can it be removed and one day union will gain all the powers and the state will be left with none? To answer this, let's look into the case of SR Bomai vs Union of India. In this case, the court held that federalism is in the basic structure of the constitution and it cannot be amended. Again, in the case of Gangaram Mulchan vs State of Rajasthan, the Supreme Court of India stated that Indian constitution is basically federal in form and is marked by a traditional characteristics of federal government. These include supremacy of constitution, division of power between union and state, independence of judiciary, etc. However, in Pradeep Jain vs Union of India, the court stated that Indian federalism is not a pure form of federalism and it has certain unitary features in it. Another instance is that the federal structure of India becomes unitary when a national emergency is imposed. If there is a national emergency or president's rule that is imposed in the country, then the union can take the powers of the state. This was held in Manika Gandhi versus Union of India, 
where the court stated that although the Indian constitution is federal in form in normal situations, the Indian constitution can gain a unitary form while there is an emergency imposed in the country. Therefore, we can call Indian constitution as semi-federal or quasi-federal. That is it for today guys. I hope you liked it. Please do like, share and comment in this video and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.